Right now, concentrating on just the bottom of the power switch now. Okay, this white piece is the piece that pushes in that little switch there, that little push to make switch. Now, to get that bit off, there's actually a, see that horseshoe shaped bit of metal on the top there? That's called a ring clip, you need to get that off. So the best way is just to put your finger or thumb on it, like that, and then with a flat headed screwdriver, just basically push it towards your thumb, but mind your thumb with the screwdriver, okay, like that, and it will just come off. Now, be careful before you go any further. This um, white piece here is spring loaded, so if I hold that and pull that clip away, now if you watch, look, if I let go of that, see it springs up. Now, underneath there, there's a little ball bearing, so you have to be really careful. But what you can do now is if I hold this white piece in place, what I can do now is pull the top of the power switch off and I can actually pull that shaft out now like that and there you go so basically that shaft there turns and turns that white bit that's about all that's going on inside there it just goes down that shaft bit there now while that's out you want to put a little dab of grease or something on there it'd be rude not to while you've got it out and that will just make it turn a bit smoother so a little bit of oil or a little bit of grease on there wouldn't go amiss Right now, to get this white bit off, you need to basically be really careful because, like I say, there's a ball bearing and it has just dropped out, but it's just there, look. And in there, you've got a spring and the ball bearing goes inside there. Right now, underneath that white plastic bit, if I put this at an angle, you can see it. You see, there's a couple of ridges where that ball bearing would lock onto. Now, that makes the position click. Okay, now if that didn't click, okay, it would just turn, like it wouldn't click, it would just turn, basically. You wouldn't feel it go like a positive on or off. So you need to make sure those ridges are in good condition. If they're worn out, then basically your switch isn't going to click, it's just going to go on, and you'll just feel it go on. And sometimes it can actually switch itself off, because the springiness of that will push the white bit away. That is what holds it in the on or off position. You need to make sure that's uh, in good condition. Also, make sure it's well lubricated. Make sure it's got grease on it. If it's got no grease on it, um, best to put some on it. Just a little bit of uh, low melt grease will do. Right, putting this back together, okay, you get this shaft, okay, put a bit of grease on there, you might as well while it's out. And actually just put the switch back on the, on the end of it, like that. So push it on and then push the shaft back in through the top through that little cut out there and push it in, it will be a bit tight to start with but then it will just suddenly get loose and go in right now you can see the top of the shaft is like a semicircle. you can see it's got one side flattened off now what you need to do is basically line it up okay, by getting the white bit that goes on the top and putting it on so it's lined up Right, then line up the white bit where it should go so that the end of it is over the top of these ridged bits here so basically put it back on in the position that it needs to go right now while it's in that position okay, get a piece of tape underneath and tape the button in that position so it doesn't move okay so now that white bit won't move and I'll show you why now okay now to get that bit back on you need to put the ball bearing back on there and push that back on. Now that is going to be really fiddly, okay, because not only is it spring loaded, so that's just going to keep pinging out. As soon as you turn it upside down, the ball bearing is going to drop out. So here's a little tip, alright? Here's something that should make it easier, little trick. Get a piece of masking tape and tear it down so it's really thin and basically stick the ball bearing on the end of it like that. Now, if you get the piece of tape and just rest the ball bearing where it should go and then put the white bit over the top of the ball bearing and push it down and then all you have to do is just pull the tape out and a presto, the bearing is in the place where it needs to be. Right now, a magnetic tip screwdriver will help you out loads here to put the ring clip back on. So, basically line it in position where it should go, like that and then just push it with the screwdriver like that and it goes back on 
And there you go. And now what you can do is take the tape off the bottom and there you go, you've put it back together. So now that's all back together and working, just got to put this plastic piece back in, like that. And the four black screws that held it on, put back in. Like that, there we go. And that's about it really, just got to put the rubber piece back on the bottom now. Put that back on and put the uh, 50,000 screws back in the bottom. Now remember as well the two different types of screw and where they go. There you go, that's it. All the screws back in, so just put the, all the feet back on, just screw those on. And there you go, so now just put the turntable back onto its top, like that. Move the dodgy cushions out of the way, and now you've just got to put all the bits back on, like the counterweight, the cartridge, the adapter, the platter, my piece of paper to help it slip, and a slip mat. Job done. So there you go, uh, I hope the video has been a help, uh, if you've got any questions or anything uh, drop me a comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can and um, I'll put any information in the description if I think you're going to run into any problems I'll put it in there and uh, again sorry I haven't been around much lately I've just been a bit busy and uh, I'll try and be back on planet earth for a while now. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, nice one.